Finishing is defined as any chemical process other than preparation or the application of color that imparts useful or desired properties to a textile or apparel product. Although it can be performed on fibers or yarns, finishing usually occurs after the fabric or garment has been prepared and dyed, and is often the last step. Finishing processes can affect numerous qualities of a fabric or garment. They can change the appearance of the fabric, the performance or serviceability, and in most cases, the hand. You can change the hand of a fabric by applying either softeners or hand builders. First, we discuss softeners, which are classified by their ionic charge, either anionic, cationic, or non-ionic. Anionic softeners have a negative charge, as does wet cotton. Anionic softeners can impart pliability without making the fabric too silky or slick. Because of their charge, they must be padded onto fabric. Not extremely durable, these softeners are normally applied for a one-time effect, often before mechanical finishes, such as napping, shearing, or compaction are introduced. Anionic softeners are desirable because they provide the right amount of lubrication between a fabric and a mechanical device. Other advantages? Fabrics finished with anionics don't easily yellow because these softeners show good stability to heat and are compatible with optical brighteners. They also have good rewetting properties, so are preferred for fabrics such as towels that must absorb water. Disadvantages? When compared to other softeners, more product must be used. Anionics are hard to exhaust and may be incompatible with baths containing products such as stabilized cationic emulsions, electrolytes, or resins. A second type of softener, cationic, has a positive charge. This type of softener produces a fluffy and silky hand on most fabrics. And it doesn't take much to get this effect on cotton because of the ionic charge of these chemicals. Cationic softeners are positively charged, and wet cotton has a negative charge. Because they are opposite, cotton has a high affinity for cationic softeners. Cationics easily exhaust and are compatible with most resin finishes. Cationics are good for fabric sewability and are quite durable, with good tear and abrasion resistance. Drawbacks? Cationics are not often used at high levels on white because they tend to yellow at higher processing temperatures. They may also affect shade or light fastness. Also, in some applications, cationics may cause unwanted water repellency. It's important to note that anionic and cationic chemistries are incompatible. Strong cationic softeners can complex or bind with anionic dye stuffs, creating a problem with crocking. Also, the shade may not be reproducible. A third type of softener is non-ionics, which have a neutral charge. This includes ethylene oxide derivatives, silicones, and polyethylene. These softeners show excellent resistance to discoloration and heat, give a dry, pliable hand, and can be applied by various methods. Non-ionics have no ionic affinity for cotton and must be applied by a pad application. The polyethylene type of non-ionic softeners creates a soft hand and has excellent non-yellowing properties. The silicone gives a slick, lubricated, and silky hand. They bloom the shade, making it look richer and more vibrant. They also increase the performance of durable press. Both polyethylene and silicone softeners improve tear and abrasion resistance, providing sewing lubricity, and are somewhat durable. Another class of chemistry for finishing is referred to as hand builders. These finishes are applied when garments require fabrics of strength, firmness, and resistance to abrasions. Hand builders make fabrics less pliable and control curling when fabrics are difficult to sew.